satellite into an equatorial orbit. When XB finally separated from the launch vehicle and just like slowly like floated away and then its little solar panels just like <laughs> fling out like I'm getting very excited again thinking about that moment. Hello, I am Casey Davis. I am a flight controller here at LASP and I work on the XP mission. I've always wondered about space, but I got more interested in space through art. And the art that I was creating was abstract expressionist art that had a tendency to echo what space images look like. I kept hearing that in my art critiques and it slowly peaked my interest in outer space and the universe. I used art as a way to ask questions about things that we didn't know. I tried to use it as an avenue to access things that were not necessarily accessible in our tangible reality. I did receive my MFA, it feels like a lifetime ago. My inability to have conversations with people about the weird stuff I was super curious about. What is our universe? Why am I here? Not a lot of people like to talk about those things. And I found that exploring something as wide open as space, you have no choice but to be around people who are willing to butt heads with those big, large, serious questions. So it was a slow transition into a community that better supported me. The transition going from fine arts to STEM was not space rainbows and unicorns. I had spent so long studying art, spent all these years, spent all this money in school studying art, and I had the whole career just like set up and ready to go. I just needed to press start, but I decided to abandon ship. That was very scary because I, I thought, what if I don't make it in STEM? What if I fail out of school. I haven't been in school. I haven't done math other than basic algebra in like 10 years. What if my brain can't handle it? So my first day at CU, I was given a tour. It was a tour put on through the APS department by a professor where they just bring in prospective students, show them around the department, and then they take them on a little field trip to LASP. And I walked into LASP. It's pretty intimidating and epic when you walk into LASP because they have all of these prototypes hanging everywhere and satellites, they have a piece of space metal that you can touch that's been in space and it was inspiring. I never thought that I would be connected with things like that, seeing things like that. I never thought that I was getting involved with something that would lead me down any sort of path that houses all of these super epic, crazy space things. I felt really excited and it felt like this is a place where people get stuff done and people keep getting things done and people want to get things done and want to keep going and pushing themselves. I was surrounded by people who wanted to get somewhere and then go a step further. When I got the summer job for LASP as a student, I was working on calc homework and I got the email and I called my mom immediately and I was like, they picked me, I can't believe it. I'm gonna work at the laboratory for atmospheric and space physics. And I was very excited and she was very excited. And I do remember, well, I didn't know how loud I was being in the hallway, but I do recall getting looks from people because I was just, I guess I was so excited that I was very loud. 
It was super exciting when I first um, got that position. Just be, it was an affirmation of you pivoted and you're moving forward. You're walking in a STEM program. You're a part of this community. Then they fired me. <laughs> that was devastating. I was really embarrassed too, just because I had worked so hard to make it in the STEM field and I had been doing so well. And it was like, all of that progress was just ripped out from underneath me because being fired from last felt like these are the big leagues. You can't sit with us, essentially. If things frustrate me or make me angry, I'm the type of person who uses that as fuel. I got fired there because I couldn't code. So you know what? I will learn how to code and I will code way more than I was required to in that position uh, because I can. So I enrolled in a course in the APS department. They offer a scientific programming course that teaches you the basics of coding. And I decided to just start there and get past that brick wall that had kept me from getting where I wanted to go before. Never again. I was very nervous just because I was still really tender from having lost the opportunity at LASP and was nervous that I was going into something that I know I had catastrophically failed at previously. So I was getting into touch with a professor and I was like, I worked in this and I failed miserably. Am I gonna do okay? Is everything gonna be all right? Do you think I can do this? And Zach Berta Thompson of the APS department um, just encouraged me and just set the stage for me that I had all the tools that I needed to succeed and encouraged me that everything would be just fine. position above what I had left for, I felt like a champion. Um, I was so determined to come back here too. I was annoying, I think, about getting back here. I worked so hard for it and I know I earned it, but ultimately it is so humbling. Um, I, I'm trying to put a lot of the energy that I feel for making it back here and like pouring that into working with other students and making sure that they know if they're struggling, I will do anything that I can to help them out. I'm really excited about all the stuff that Ixby's looking at. Having studied astronomy, like these are all the things that got me into astronomy that helped me transition from fine arts to STEM. Ixby's actually looking at those things and actually adding to all of the data that scientists get to look at to find out more stuff that we previously did not know. To be part of that line of getting data to the scientists to find out more makes me feel like I'm contributing to finding answers to the unknown, which is what I have been searching for in art. That is quite rewarding.